beautiful people I want to see how much of that water i could chug to start this video but guys they sent james wiseman down to the g league because they're like kevin looney's awesome but we don't have the backup center nothing against james james wiseman guys basically still has awesome played a full you know 82 games in his career but they're looking at Jakob Pertl and Miles Turner, and they're like, hmm, you guys could be good rentals. Remember Andrew Bogut? That man helped them win a championship. I want to hear your thoughts down below. Jakob Pertl's about like $10 million, $11 million, while Miles Turner's 18. We're going to sit here, talk about why they'd help them, give them the size. First off, both Jakob Pertl and Miles Turner are a lot more offensively gifted than Kevon Looney and just ta more talented so they would benefit from either of these guys and this is coming from Eric Pincus who is a member of you know Bleacher Report and let's talk about it okay and I think this is an interesting part because right here salary wise who if they want the easiest guy to trade for is Jakob Pertl why because you could do a deal it's not going to be easy it's not going to be easy because you assume anybody on a big deal so the guys that you could float around i don't think they would trade kevon looney would they trade james wiseman i don't know i don't know hear your thoughts because you could get yourself yakub purtle if you do a james wiseman and jamichael green boom money works if you do jamichael green james wiseman you might not even need to ask the spurs for the spurs you know the spurs can't even ask you for picks if you just do straight up Wiseman, Green, for Pirtle, no picks. Maybe you could even ask the Spurs for picks because Wiseman being a top pick, maybe he still has value. Maybe this is part of the reason why they sent him to the G League, not to lower any more of his value because they're going to use him as a trade chip. While the guy that's going to be harder to get is, you know, Miles Turner. Miles Turner's making $18 million. So that would have to start with James Wiseman. The easiest deal would be James Wiseman and Kevon Looney. But you wouldn't do that because you'd want to pair Miles Turner with Kevon Looney. So, unless do you guys think they would trade? So, for me, it would be James Wiseman, Dante DiVincenzo. Oh, my God. This is where it gets hard. Because it would be, in my mind, James Wiseman, Dante DiVincenzo, which right there, that gets you to about $14 million. Now, you're a little bit short. You throw in Jermichael Green, that gets you to about 16.6. .6. So, the only way to get there is by either throwing in Andre Iguodala Pat Baldwin, Ryan Rollins, and it'll be interesting as all hell. It'll be interesting to see how it works out. That's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Do you think it's even worth investing in the, a big guy like this? Or is it, should we see if we can get James Wiseman healthy enough that this isn't going to be a problem? And I think, look, this is a team that they are good, okay? Everything I know, it's not the perfect situation right now. Shit could be more ideal. Yes, that is 100% true. Uh, this has not been the world's most ideal season. But it, it isn't the end of the world, okay? And I think they're, they're a group that would benefit from having a big man. I think Pirtle offers you more passing. Yes, you get some three-point shooting from your big man. But this has never been a team that needed a three-point shooting big man. This is a team that needs someone who can rebound at a high level. And I think Jakob Pirtle is the better fit for them. And they could get him easier and not need to give up as many players as they would for Miles Turner. And Jakob Pirtle, yes, Miles, Jakob Pirtle, I think, is a better passer and rebounder than Miles Turner. And I know he's not as nearly as good as a rim protector as Miles Turner is, but I do have belief that Jakob Pirtle could be, you know, have a better impact on this Warriors team than miles turner nothing against miles turner i think he's a fantastic ba basketball player who's been underrated for a long time in his career because he's been in indianapolis but again i think it's it's definitely gonna be something to watch something to see because i think it's it's going to be fun it's going to be fun and that's where i want to hear your opinions if you guys were in this situation what would you guys do and why i think it's definitely interesting for all hell and yeah let me let me know because I think it, it'll be fun. It'll be fun and something to view. So let me hear your thoughts down below. And I'm going to have to go because that's basically it from me, guys. And I hope you guys do have a great day. Let me know down below. And I'm a peace out eight town style. But yeah, so have a good one, guys. And I'm a peace out eight town style.